everyone. Welcome back to Bettina Plays to the Moon. The last time I left off, we had Johnny going to school, and his mom is here, and there's Rosaline and Dr. Watts, Neil. So I think we need to find all the memories. So we're going to look in this room. This must be his bedroom. Look at this. It looks like a bunk bed. But he hasn't said anything about having siblings. Okay. Isn't that kind of strange? Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. So, it's not necessarily River who is bothered by these things, but maybe Johnny doesn't like them. Oh, bleh, not again. A glass bottle to pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! They're not olives! You're pretty easily impressed. That is kind of weird. When did he start liking pickled olives instead of pickled cucumbers? Can you try to grab onto these? What else can you... Oh, did I not click on that? The ball? Oh, that is... Mento. Okay. I'm using the mouse just to see what else there is. Let me go back there. We know the memento's there, but we need two more little memory things. What is this? Is this an office of some sort? What do we have in here? Ah, bookshelf. Probably animorphs up here. Various books with smudged titles. I bet they're smudged because it's like people. You don't remember their faces, so you don't really remember anything about them. But there's nothing else in this house. So that's kind of weird, right? What are we missing? Can we go out the door? No. We talked out the clock. Oh, the couch. Okay, now we're good. Kind of weird having a couch over there. There's not even a TV that you can see. Okay. Here, we're breaking it apart. Oh. Okay. Prepare. Okay, we can do this in six. Let's see. seen a soccer ball. Okay. I guess Johnny was a fan of soccer when he was a kid. Oh. What's up? Ack, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? Oh. What the hell is that? Hmm. Oh dear. The story is slowly coming back to me. Just all the foreshadowing in here. Ooh. Yeah. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Lakuta on this? That's the reference to the, the castle in the sky, I guess. The, the island's named Lakuta. I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. 
Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. It's not the machines, guys. Johnny is traumatized. His brain can't compute. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Buzzing fly. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Hmm. So they're really not going to try and get into his childhood. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Johnny doesn't want to think about his childhood. That much is clear. Oh, now we're in Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. I should have ended the last episode here. Dang. Well, here we are. Hmm. Back in the real world. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Hmm. Ah, now they're back to future Johnny probably figure out what's going on. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. I all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. So I guess they caught him up to speed of what they know of his life, and he filled in some gaps. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. It's about to rain outside, so if you hear any thunder, then that's my actual outside. Then can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. Hmm. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real Johnny. Real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and... That's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believed that, why did you even care to explain? Yeah, that's kind of mean and... I don't know. Like... It's a little patronizing. I'm just trying... I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Okay. Gotta go and do what needs to be done. Doctor! Is that what I truly am? Uh, I'm not gonna answer that. Aww. Don't let the programs be self-aware. Okay. Hmm. Ah, all of our night's work. can see how all these things are kind of related. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. You can see
see his childhood's kind of hidden away there. Oh, what the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. <laughs> now they're little fishy ghosts. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay, so if I go over here with the mouse. Oh. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the register desire. Oh, okay. So if I do that, then those flowers are linked. So if we go here. Um, the platypus? No, the rabbit. Okay, that lines it up. I think this is how you do it. Hmm. Eva, check this out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's eating his head. <laughs> Seriously? It's kind of funny. Like that, right? But then that doesn't make sense. I don't know how to make it all follow through. Well, if we line up the clock, you can see something there. Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. No, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached, it's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish, don't pin your womanly ways on me. Hmm. Womanly ways? Okay, what did... Okay. We... Just one more. Then... that. Oh, did I do it? I think I did it. Well, they're all yellow, so I guess that makes it. Okay. Ding! That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. It's not going to work, though. You need that childhood piece! Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon! Ladies first. Not this time, hun. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna use the arrow keys, cause that's easy. How do you, how do you get out of here? Oh, okay. I guess we check in on that guy. This is the same setting as his real, last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. But why? Are we gonna find him on the ledge again? There he is. It's all happens just the same. Hmm. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors here. Oh, that was a weird way to do the voice, but 
deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Um... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Yeah, he doesn't want to say that he's Dr. Matterhorn or whatever he said. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life, Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? Wow, he really doesn't remember. How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Uh, Lily? <gasps> Wait a minute. Freeze him, too. Aw, oh, he's frozen. Well... Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Hmm. It's funny, the thunder happening outside is almost... kind of mirrors how it's feeling around here in the story. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. his earliest childhood, Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up. Huh? Well then... Huh. Oh, they're putting up posters. Huh. What the... This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. Hmm. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? Where go? You know, looks like all the random people came back. Oh, Neil. There you are. Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it was a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Hmm. Oh, when I click on him, it turns in another direction. Oh, the people don't disappear anymore. Where is Neil? Is he there? Did Neil go? To the moon, darling! Woo! Oh, Henry! Ugh, dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Oh, Henry! Okay. I need to traverse through John to see, check the results. Through John? Oh, do I need to go over here? How do I how do I do this? Traverse through John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Okay, so I can click on John and then back here. Oh, no. Oh. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Nature to first through John. Okay. I don't remember there being cracks over there. L Lily? Sorry, just gonna tap on your head there. Come back to your high school keys. Perhaps something here could work. Okay, um, 
should I click on the bus? That's just a trick of progress. Okay, um, so did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Oh, what's starting? Wait, I don't remember that happening. <gasps> Something must have changed. Um, hey, don't squeeze. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, it's a basketballer. It's, they're in the stadium, I guess. Hmm. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh, no. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Get it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know what many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome and adventure as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You. But I don't want to go to the moon. But then you're in luck. Wait. What? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to don't you want to go there even a little bit? No? Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Huh. This is a little strange. He's just staring at him. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is four and a half billion years old. That's even true. Oh my god. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, um. Also, it takes one and a half seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. But flying cars don't exist. I knew that. No, you didn't. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Um, I don't think that's going to sell it any more than you tried already. <sighs> well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Mm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. I'm pretty doubtful that it worked. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Hmm. I mean, he had no desire to go to the moon in his teenagehood when he had a crush on River, so it has to be earlier than that, I think. Well, you're gonna go through this time? We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. You are so insensitive, Neil. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we barely have anyone 
Did you know that NASA has excellent health care plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. Um, well, she's a little more on the head of that, I think. Are you coming my eyes in space? No. Oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? The moon. Eh? I like Rosalie's attempts better than Neil's. <sighs> this is all just a long cutscene, though. Where's the gameplay now? River? <laughs> Dang, never it. Glass. Slippery. Johnny! Jo John? Oh, he's not in here. Oh, Neil. What the cucumber? <sighs> Phew. You know what? This is just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be, in a, be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Yeah, it was dumb. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Hmm. Okay, so they're taking a break from their excursion into his head, I think. Or no? I wonder. Who's that? Hmm. Oh. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. Okay, I'm not really following this, but... There is no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there is anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of all things, out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? It's interesting seeing her pixelated sprite zoomed in like that. Ah, the sun's rising. So I guess she got out and took a breath of fresh air, and they were really at it all night. Jeez. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Okay, time to go back to the house, I guess. I like the slow piano. Can't go through the flowers, I guess. Hmm. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way over here. Now. Wow, she had to point that out. Interesting. For a river. There's the two notes. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Ooh, that thunder. It's really loud. Can you guys hear it? So interesting. I wonder if he's upstairs or in the kitchen getting coffee. Let's check this out. There he is. My instinct was correct. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. 
Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that copy? Shh, not telling. Are you speaking with headquarter? Headquarter? I thought it was always headquarters. Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. Okay, so he's talking, he's talking. Done now. Can I get my own copy? Did I click on anything? Oh, I didn't need to right click. There we go. I'm not sure, we'll have to check on that. Right, that part we can do. Okay, I suppose so. I love the rumbly thunder like that. When it starts raining, it's all cozy. It's starting right now, but... Right, that part we can do. So I don't think he's going to say anything else. I think that's all we can do now. Yep, nothing in the, else in this room, so I guess I'll just um, wait until he's done with his phone call and do some exploring. Maybe I can go through here. Check out the office. Yep, there's all the bunnies. It's a broken music box. That must be the everything will be all right music box that Isabel gave. This chest is locked. Where are the keys for these? Filled with dusty books. Animorphs books. Under. We went in here. Hey, there they are! But, Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Aw. Shh, let them sleep. Oh, okay. Looks like there are books on the floor. What did they pull off? Dusklight. Oh, that's right. Can I read the passage? Maybe another year. Fine. Place book on the shelf. Okay, do nothing. Can't put that book back. I don't want to wake the kids, but what happens when I tap on them? Follow Lily back out. Then. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. That's a good idea. Uh, you want to sit down? Okay. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? I want to ask all the things. Okay. Um, maybe... I'm not sure how long I've been filming this, but maybe this can wait until the next episode, actually. Because there's a whoa. I love it. I love thunder. I'm not scared of thunder, I love the thunder. So fun. But yeah. Oh, hey. Um, yeah? Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. Oh, so thank you. Okay. Cool. I hope I can still ask her questions. Cool. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait until the next episode to ask her all of these questions, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me, and now it's properly starting to rain. Um, yeah. But until the next episode, 
subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting more videos. I just started back into making Undertale comic dubs, so keep an eye out for that as well. I might make other types of videos, but we shall soon see. And until next time, stay determined. Matina out.